we have up to one o'clock, is it? Maybe 12.45. Okay, maybe we can warm up with some drills then. Yep. Like the passing drill. Mm -hmm. um, so there's two things that maybe we start with the body lock one. So so from the butterfly guard here. Um, so let's say you sit up and then there's a little bit of hand fighting, push break, and manage to get to the body lock situation. So from here, I guess I guess there's a few kinds. Like there's the one which is like behind the back, and then there's the one we managed to get. Like we call it tight waist. Mm -hmm. We try and like dig your elbow here and all that. So what I wanted to try today, I wanted to see if I can understand the leg staple a little bit more. So as the person's coming to the side with a tight waist here or ten finger grip, right? Or even you can even separate your hands, but body locking is always better. As I threaten to go here, you're going to keep a high knee, right? High knee position. Right. And as you keep a high knee position, it's hard for me to step over. Mm -hmm. And this is where this comes in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you manage to do that, then you try to get the leg staple. Okay. So the leg staple is here. And I would like to know first, because I need to find my balance here a little bit. Yeah. How does the leg staple feel like right now? If I'm here, like, can you get, can you recover your knee first of all? Your knee. So, so do I need to be higher up on the leg or not? Like it's pretty good because my foot is. So do I need to be here? So, like if I'm just at the ankle, is it good enough? Do I need to be higher up? Like, do I need to like lock it up here? This is good, no? Yeah, this is even better. The yes. first place seems okay too, though. Yeah, I feel there's too much knee mobility, but I'm supposed to sit on it. Mm -hmm. And then from here, you still have a sticky hook with the other leg, right? So as I try and, and, and pass, which I guess is when I get my hip to the other side. From here, get my hip to the other side. As I try and pass here, you're going to keep this as a sticky hook. Yep. And I'm supposed to fly over it and turn my hip. End up in a body lock position. So, in all these configurations, I guess the logic is to first. So, the first way to body lock is to go from here and like turn you to your side a little bit, right? Turn you to your side a little bit and just manage to hop over. Right? That's the first way to go. But if you keep a high knee position, that's difficult, and that's where. That's where this comes in. Right. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Now from here, I guess you can like bend open the things. Without the second leg for a second. Oh yeah, well this is pretty good. Yeah, that's good. That's I still have good. a knee. Right, you can come back up. Knee's still high again. Yeah. yeah. So what if you put your elbow on the inside? Yeah, and then what, now you yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that feels pretty solid. Squeeze everything a little bit. Squeeze with these. Oh yeah, that feels solid. Okay. And then now can we jump? Yeah. Yeah, 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 it works. Okay, yeah, because as soon as you hop over that leg, you know, it's so tough. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a really nice pass. I, I like that option. So it gives an optional body lock. Do the traditional body lock where you just step over. So here, I guess you can still use a leg like, staple here. Mm -hmm. So you're in the same position right now. Actually, you're right in the same position. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm going to be here. Sure, sure. Pushing, pushing all this. Sure. Yeah, oh, wow. I'm going to try and squeeze the position of it. It's a bit like when you're squeezing the knees on the other thing. So, from here. Tight waist. So for me, I'll just do tight waist because I've realized that I don't have the long enough hands, like long enough limbs to keep the 10 finger grip. Yeah. Right here, I can't quite get it. On that finger. Everything's super tight. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. It's a good blessing. It's, it's worth turning it just 10 times upside, honestly. So now I'm in what we call the false half guard. Mm. So if you've ever studied this position, false half guard, it's really easy to pass from here. Oh yeah, so you feel like you can catch my ankle, but you can't because there's nothing there. So you come here, you just go over here. There's nothing there. So. Because the initial body lock position is like to try and do this, right? Mm -hmm. right. So this is a shelving method. So the shelving method is a uh, cross down the shelf, and then from here, here, so piece together. Switch your head, switch your grip to the other side. Here. Yeah. So but you're squeezing in between. So if you get to shelving, so there's a staple. There's a leg staple and a leg shelf. Right. So. Here, like it's like I haven't managed to break this grip, so I drop my hip and you're like super sticky. And I'm trying to hop over, but then I get the leg staple. And if I get the leg staple, like this, this happens, right? And I feel that this is slightly better than this. Yeah, I think better to have the pressure if you can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there could be an option too. I don't know that it's essential. I don't yeah, think, I don't think to change it a whole lot for me. Either way, I'm not getting out. Get back to the half guard. Try and get inside position, yeah. and as soon as you see it, you dive your hands in really fast. Yeah, yeah. 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 
stakeholders, everything. I feel this could work well in here as well, if you have like the lapel here. Yeah. Like often I find myself catching the lapel yeah. and prying that leg open. Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Bicep ties. Have you noticed how Pablo does that a lot? He's got a lot of inside bicep tie cries. Um, when he, let's let's say he's trying to do like a, an underhook half guard pass. So let's say he's passing a half guard, so he's in a knee cut position. And he can't he can't get the underhook or whatever. He does a lot of this, Pablo. Oh, so he's got an inside bicep tie. But then you have to use your head here. So it starts off like you can't get the underhook, right? So I'm trying to get the underhook. So he swims a hand here and then elbow to the mat, right? And then now, like how does that feel to defend against? Like so, not a lot I can do. So here, so all I did is, so I can't go here, yeah, right? But I go here, right? Okay, close your elbow. Don't let me do anything. So here. Was that feels nice. Can I try that? That's a different position. But it doesn't matter, it's a bit of a mishmash, you know, it's not like a structure. I'm just trying to think about different everything Pablo has is good. It's oh yeah. So I'm trying to get in here, I can't quite get the underhook. So, so inside first. bicep side, that's the name of it. Is it ten finger grip? Ten finger grip? Yeah. Yeah. Elbow down. Okay, and then the moment you feel like you can, you reinforce with your head. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Feel that. So I'm just gonna be a little bit resistant. Same kind of grip, elbow to the mat. And he does in D as well. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Such a good move. What are you saying for the ten finger grip? Because now you have both hands on it. Like this. This is a ten finger grip. Yeah. Just essentially over one on one side and under on the other side. So both hands are fighting that one. Because yeah, I don't know what it is about the mechanics, but. Yeah. Because like. like the, how come we can't do that with an underhook? Like, why can't I do it facing this way? I don't know, but this, it feels really strong. I thought the bicep tied were just like one hand only. Yeah, but then you hook it to the other one. So remember, I'm not giving you. No, there's no neck pressure. Yeah. yeah. So here, because your goal is to get the underhook. Okay. Yeah, and your shoulder pressure can stay, right? Yeah. yeah so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it just reinforces for me to have an extra grip, basically. Yeah. Okay. This is like an anchor I'm using. Let's show that inside by side. Just to get it. Yeah. 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 You're giving it to me. And then once you're in position, you cross knee cut. Yeah. So I don't, I don't need to knee cut to, you know, to this side. I'm just going to cross knee cut. Um, yeah, that's cool. Can we work on floating pass as well? Yeah, so floating passing, these are just warm-up drills, but really from butterfly yeah so um let's do it really slow-mo to so elevate me yeah so from here i'm supposed to dig my hip this way and with that be able to catch both your ankles oh. yeah okay. and apparently if you Okay, good at this. Sometimes you can only catch one ankle. So it's here and here. So here. Yeah, like you might you might find yourself with this kind of thing. 
right, one on each. But if you can get a double, yeah, if you can get across both legs, it's better. So here, and go home. So you're elevating. So I turn, turn my hips down. Okay, now from here. And once you're here, you're done. Try and find it from single butterfly hook as well. Okay, so we'll do that after. That's from double. So turn your hip first and then go and fish for. So this is like leg problem, right? Yeah. Which is really important, especially in Rogi, I guess, but I guess in here as well. But for now, put your hands on the mat. Don't worry about it too much. Yeah, so you have so to find that angle to the ankles. As soon as I get that, now my leg touches down, so I can yeah, you can basically do that. slide through. Yeah. Like as soon as you find the anchor on the ankle, oh, if you manage to do that, so that now you're in a leg shelf. Yeah. If you're in a leg shelf, then that's a different kind of situation. Yeah. But I it's don't okay. feel like such a good spot either. Which is for you or for me? Uh, I guess you, it's you're okay. good, like you're halfway past my gut here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and if you get a good smash cross face. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like it's very difficult for me to defend. I'll work it through that way. Yeah. Okay. Let me try that again. Oh, still a different options with a single butterfly hook as well. But first we've got to get rid of double. So double, pump, 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 pump. So turn the hip. Yeah, it feels pretty heavy, I guess. Because you got to carry my weight. Let's try single butterfly. You got one butterfly hook. Here, you elevate. And then, so it's like I'm here. going for a sweep. Yeah, and then I got to find this. Oh, this is really difficult. Okay, so this brings about an interesting position here to finish the pass. So there's a like cradle. So we're here. I'm not sure you're gonna head post mm -hmm. you know the defense of the butterfly sweep, right? Posting essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. It's a cop floor pass. But as you do that, so if I can turn my head, I don't know that I can get this. Stop, let me see if you get it. Because you got to get uh, ankle exposure. Yeah, I mean, the other way is to just to just get your like through and get to the split squat. Yeah. Like, you remember the split squat position? Mm -hmm. So here, you dig your knee through. Yeah, now you're in the split squat. And from here, you peel my ankle and dig behind my leg. Yeah, this one. Yeah. And then over to here. You can do, but if you're behind both, you just go that way. Escape from the back. Yeah, so I need to get rid of this underhook. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Well, you can use that uh, cradle. Yeah, use the cradle. Yeah, do it from there too. Yeah, do the cradle. Yeah, yeah that may be a little bit. And it's easier. the same as like, from, if I'm like stand up, if I'm attacking, if I'm attacking a full street, mm -hmm. right? But what you want to do is like, you want to make sure that you go behind this leg. Yeah, and pull this leg across. And then now, like, if you sit on your butt, there's no full sweep anymore. Now go for the cradle. It's just disintegrating the full sweep. Yeah. That's a nice These one. are all similar yeah. ideas, right? So, although we're doing butterfly, right? Sorry, I'm verbal diary. It's good, it's good. This is not happening. Just sweep it. We'll talk about 18s. 
I feel like the body lock pass is probably like the most valuable right now. Yeah, that was good. See if oh, I get. Wow. Yeah, here. yeah. So here, you gotta be a bit yeah, careful because yeah. you gotta be careful here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. here, I'm, I've got some entries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you never want me to get the foot through. Like if I get the, this is leg lock territory. But here you're still safe. So as long as you get a leg staple here, so knee through, knee through, sit down. So the closer your your butt is to your heel, mm -hmm. the left. Well, well, I can't get my hand through. Yeah. I need my hand through. Yeah. If I don't have a hand to thread through, then there's no there's no leg lock territory. So even if you find yourself like beyond, like you need to not let me block. Yeah, and then now you need to address this one yeah. and like, yeah, so you're still kind of, the problem is when you stand up there. Mm -hmm. You stand up and I can peel it open, pop it through my leg, then this. Okay, uh, show me your guillotine. Okay. One leg over, I can be under this one but better to be over it and then we're just put it on put my hair yeah. save my hair okay <laughs> okay so even better if you if you my turn your, if you turn your body a little bit this way so you crunch my head down yeah and then you just push your hips up no so you like um if you work from the chin strap, so better to do it from close guard if you get the close guard. If you don't get the close guard, it's still okay with the leg on top. Uh, but there's kind of three kinds of guillotines, right? So you got the one where you manage to get all the way through. Yeah. You can turn that into a high elbow, mm -hmm. or you can turn it into like uh, just a normal grip, right? Yeah, uh, which is really strong. And then the point is to get like chest to hand connection. So your grips can be. Here, it can be here. Edson likes to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be the high elbow grip, yeah. right? That one, which is kind of super powerful. It's really rare that you'll manage to get your hand all the way through. Like if right. you can, it might be from a position where you're like doing like head and arm, mm -hmm. and you're pulling on the arm, and the guy pulls his arm back, like he's like tucking, and then you manage to like that. That could be like a moment where you manage to get that. Yeah. But it's it's pretty rare that you manage to get it all the way through. The chin strap is way more common. Mm -hmm. So chin, chin strap is good, and then you reinforce it just like you did here. You need to make sure it's a little bit to the side of your body. Okay. Here's like escape territory. Yeah. Here's like less escape. And from here, either you manage to like get to close guard. Mm -hmm. So from close guard, it's probably the best way. Like if you manage to get a high leg, and like almost a triangle thing, and it feels like the person can almost escape, right? Yeah. So you close your elbow to the side here. And then you elevate your hips to the body. So if I close this position and elevate the hips, you'll feel it. Right. Yeah, so it's elevated. Mm -hmm. This is the movement you want. But it, and it, it should be like on the crown of the head, like almost here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like if you're here, yeah. and it feels like you're deeper and it's better, but actually mm -hmm. here is the best. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. one-handed, see this is one-handed. Yeah. So you almost have that. Thing. Anyway, so those are your... And then your third guillotine is probably, let's say that you're doing a good shoulder shrug. So, yeah, so it's hard to get it. Then I can only get it on the side here. Mm. So now I'm looking at this side. Yeah. Okay. Then I do this, same thing. Um, okay, so now it's different. You see the, the lock is here. Right. But the logic's the same. Like you crank your body down sideways. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's a different lock because it's here. Yeah. So, yeah, so you could, you could try those a little bit. Just you get it more in guard or in that leg over? In guard, in guard is, is better. Yeah. If you learn the escapes, you'll realize why in guard is better. The chance of that happening though, do you think it's... So good? like you have to post your foot up, yeah. you have to post your... So if you're on your knees, if you're on your knees, yeah, so you get it from like... Uh, yeah, if you're on your knees, you post your foot up. Yeah, and then you go to a jump to a guard. So, but you have to get your lock on first before you jump. Hands. Yeah, yeah. So if yeah. you're gonna do the chin strap, so here it feels like I've escaped already. You need to be so just. Very a, tight. No, you just you're, you're basically just above the point. Like the threshold might be here. Yeah. And you crank me down. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got a good chin strap. That's, that feels nice. Mm -hmm. Just talk a little bit. Now. Yeah. And elevate your hips. 
see what I mean? Yeah. So it's like a torque down mm-hmm. and a hip elevation. Again. Let's do this chin strap one. So chin strap. Nice reinforce. Make sure that I'm on the side here. Yes. Yeah, the moment you like it's like yeah. it's like almost in the like a jamming in the neck kind of thing. It's more like a jamming in the neck than the other one. So let's say now you get your chin strap and I'm doing a good job of shoulder shrugging. But she can see immediately as annoying, right? For you. So then you yeah, so you go to this there's still that space here and then you get uh, yeah, exactly. The same gear thing. Okay, so talk first, talk, 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 okay, down, front, 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 down, front. So you break, so this, this is the breaking my neck position. Yeah. If my neck position is forward, yeah. it's not great, but if I'm here, yeah. yeah. So now we're getting it's up, yeah, yeah. Just they have to make too sure. much motion. Yeah, so feel, feel that, it's, a, it's an interesting point. It's an interesting pain point. So you're shrugging whatever so i've got it on the side and i've reinforced so i'm holding on my wrist or just on the blade of my hand right okay so then from here if i'm here i can't i can't get you this one is low percentage but it's the it's the 10 finger one where you're like this this is if you close your elbows a good a good player will like move the head to the side and yeah. escape that right but you can get this on a white belt okay. it's like a white belt move but okay so here so you've loaded it up on the side here here okay so from here crank it down mm-hmm. you can see how that's uncomfortable but i want to be here on the side of you yeah. Yeah, so here i've locked it up okay cool i elevate Nice. So I'm shrugging. Because I'm shrugging. Maybe just like... There's a guy called Jay who's a really good black belt in Loki. It's the only time I got a guillotine on him is that one. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't move you a lot when I'm cranking that. Because you haven't like secured my hand. You need to be more here, like on the side of my hand. Yeah. Close that elbow. Turn. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Immediately you get it. Yeah. So you can see also the first principles of defense here. So the first principle of defense is this, right? So get any of the th- maybe you start from a chin strap. Okay, so from a chin strap. I don't want to be up here, right? And I don't want your hips to get close. So you don't want to be here either because you're going to get like neck cranked. So you want to be here. Yeah. So it's difficult for you to finish, and you want to shrug. And put your hand here. Mm-hmm. So from here, if you try and do a guillotine, it's immediately more difficult. Yeah. Right? So this is like a good starting point. Yeah. Okay, so as soon as you feel the chin strap, don't panic. So somebody gets a one-handed chin strap on you, or like a guillotine grip, or so this is good. So from here, shrug, head position. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to drill that to start with. So we're here. How does it feel to you as a chin strap? You start to lose control of the picture, right? Because of this, right? Also, yeah, yeah, okay. So pushing it out, but at least so I, I managed to load up a gear team. Yeah. So this hand is coming out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that, and I'm changing here. And sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, like I'm not going to be able to jump anyway. Yeah. yeah. Just a Nice, very nice. Okay. Again. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, there was a drill in Luta Libre that Alexis, you remember Alexis Pandel? He showed me that they do a warm up like that. Right? So just catch my head. Catch my head. Catch my head. Okay, keep going, keep going. That's it.
try. Throw me in a guillotine for me. I would just sit yeah. back to let you think you've got some movement on me. Yeah, of course I lost the head, but yeah. So I let go with the other hand. We do it slowly. So first I'm defending a bit. Okay, and then I catch the leg here. Okay. So uh, one important principle as well is that you want to um, you want to end up with your head across the back. See if you lay down on your back. Yeah. So, my head. You want to end up like this. Okay. You want to end up with your head across the body. Yeah. And from here, you know, you'll be able to like shoulder pressure. Usually, the person has their hands connected. You've been in MMA in situations like these, right? Yeah. You guys, and then you know, you do this. You have a bon food choke. Mm. Right. Yeah. Whatever. So, but the point is that if you end up on the wrong side of the body. Um, naturally, you should always think about coming back to this side. Yeah. So, let's go through that first position. What was that joke called? Bon through. Bon through. Yeah. So, let's just say that my defense wasn't so good. I managed to show you lift this leg up. Okay. So, from here, the first one we're going to do is we're going to like sit on the leg. So, from here, I'm just going to go here and I'm going to sit. So, you're going to throw your other leg over. And then I want to be a cross body. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's like I'm escaping through that door mm -hmm. by laying down on it. And there'll be two, there's kind of two ways to go. Either you manage to go laying down on the leg or you stuff the leg. So I'm going to do both. So lift your leg up. You see that leg coming up. The other way is you do this. So, in both of these configurations, you're going across the leg. Yeah. Um, so in one configuration, you're laying down on it, mm -hmm. and it's almost like you're giving mount to the other person, but you kind of block the hip at the same time. Let's yeah. do the first one. So here, shrug. So here, catch it. And fall with you. So I'm here. So here, boom, so shrug, and roll with you. So basically, you're monitoring that leg. So you, you hold it, yeah, yeah, keep an eye on it. It all happens so fast that, that you don't have much time to. Mm -hmm. So you're here first, you defend yourself, where's your head position? Yeah. So and then let's say I managed to do this, catch it, and then dump me on Yeah. And and then come back to heavy cross. Yeah, so do your nice bridge that you do. Yeah. You know your nice and then spin over. Yeah. Because you're so good at that position, right? You practice that so much. Yeah. My hip, up my hip. Nice! Nice. I love the way you did that. Nice. You need to drill. You need to, see it. you need to see it, you need to drill it. And I guess both are the same, like either you stuff the leg across, or, mm -hmm. but as soon as you see that leg, yeah, you just catch it. Again, do two more, then I'll, I'll do a few. Shrug, 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 shrug. Yeah. Too 
can feel there's a threat though. So be careful. Oh yeah. So I guess what I want want you to do a bit more is to is this. Because you're too much on the ground and not like more the more weight on the body. The on the body. So like yeah. drive into the bit more. Yeah. But it makes sense. I mean, the other one is you almost get mounted yeah. and you just lay down on it without stuffing the legs so much. So here, like you're laying down here, right? But there's no weight on you. So when you go to mount, there's this whole fight here. Yeah. But I guess if you have this, it's not too bad. So as I, as you lay down, you're already starting to get your shoulder in for the mm -hmm. pressure. Yeah. Hi, baby. Bye. See you later, Bum See you later, Bum Bum. You can find me. Okay. Yeah. Um, a few more I want to work on, so. Let's say again, catch it. Let me try and think about all the mechanics of it. So, this is always your starting point, right? Yeah. Now, we're supposed to be able to go here and to a back take as well. But I think that, so keep your lock pretty tight. I'm just wondering. This is it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, it's like a peek out, like mm -hmm. a wrestling peek out. Mm -hmm. Um, and in terms of the mechanics, I think your arm has to go over. So, so you are here, you can just go so here, and how does it feel to you? Like, does it snap the lock or not? Yeah. It's a pretty good snap. So let's just start from the beginning. I, I, you have to go with intention. Right. Yeah. Like it's an ear, it's ear wrecker. I'm not going to do too many of those on the bike head drive. I'm going to do it for that one. I'm just going to do it slowly. It's, it's speed, it's like I just shredded my ear. I don't want to have the jiu-jitsu ears, but some people are saying, oh, we're going to do it. I want to see, I want to feel it. Like so, so, yeah, I think I've done well to get to this stage without being like, oh, yeah. totally smashed. I haven't had to drain one for like 10 years, so, yeah. Okay, so. Um, again, shrugging. So, yeah, and then here, you know, I'm not totally locked in because I know that this is going on. Yeah. So I guess there's a timing element as well, yeah. which is like when you see the hand like detached or whatever, yeah. you can peek out. So you throw this hand throw to it. my waist. Okay. And yeah, yeah, oh my God, this was really good. Okay, let's just drill it slowly. Defense, 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 because you're going to get the team. Head on. Yeah, very nice defense. And then peek out. So before you do your peek out, you need to post your foot. So post your foot like this. Yeah. And then throw your, throw your arm over. Hello, boys. Nice head position. Shrug a bit more. So if you shrug a bit more. Remember, remember this is super important because it's yeah. Nice, nice, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, very nice. Still a bit shrug or that? Yeah, very good. Always. Shrug is like compulsory. Yeah. Do one more. Yeah, feels good. Feels good. Feels nice. Um, there was one that's a little bit more technical and I'm not too sure. There's two that are more technical that I haven't practiced before, so if, forgive me if, if I'm not on with it. Um, so I'll just get my, my head. So, yeah. So from here, I'm supposed to be able to do a little lay down here and then to recover. So it's like laying down flat so on my back. Through. 
Yeah. So let's just see how that works. So that's like if you don't move. Because the other one is like holding the eventually you move your leg up. But here I I thread my hand through here. So I go here. How does that feel to you? It's very tempting to try to step over. Yeah, and then here this is different. Yeah, you'll lose the head, but you you might gain my arm here. Yeah. Because so I might I might want to be careful with how I stand up. There's a window. I'm ready. Try. Let me try that again without going too fast. So just to get an idea. Oh, this could be a nice lock. This could be pretty easy, but my lock wasn't so tight. Okay, put a tight lock on. Here, shrug. But I'm supposed to let go of this defense. Mm -hmm. Pass it through. Mm. I don't love it. I don't think it's terrible. A little bit of a... Uh... Now it's a 50-50, who's gonna get what as this resolves. Yeah, let me see how that feels. So your defending hand slides under the leg yeah. and your try, try slowly. Just to get the mechanics. Oh, really? So this hand is gonna slide under and you're gonna lay on your back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here. Actually, actually, actually I'm wondering if you're under the good leg. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess you are. This, this hand goes. Yeah, yeah, not much. Yeah, I can it gets really. Yeah. I've kind of lost the. But this looks think? very different from what you had. No, yeah, I guess maybe your defending defending hand different goes on this leg. Yeah. Try again. Slip <coughs> through there. Yeah. And then sit the other way, maybe. No, 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 no. Let me try again. Let me just see. Oh, it's not the defending hand, it's the other hand. So I was here, it's this hand goes across. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And I'm wondering if there's any elements of like... No, no, no there isn't that. No, 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 because no, no, I'm just giving, I'm just bringing it on to me. Yeah. <coughs> it's got to be that the other one goes up. Yeah. So yeah, I'm across. Not the defending hand, the other one. So I'm across. Yeah? Yeah, go on. Oh, I've got the leg, you could also... What do I feel like here? Yeah. yeah, but see, I don't... The problem with me finishing here, I go on, continue because I've got enough time. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you got to go all the way around. All the, all the, yeah, because you got to get. Yeah, so always remember, yeah. because this is where you get caught. Yeah. If you stay on the same, like stay where you were, you'll we'll see even finish. the dumbest thing, even like so. Even I have no hooks, right? Yeah. Um, the, the dumbest guillotine finish, like mm -hmm. this one, that's the dumbest finish, and it's there. It's right here. It's just one foot. <laughs> you know, it's the dumbest finish ever, but it works. So you have to be careful. Um, yeah, try that again. I want to feel the whole movement. Yeah, 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 it's really nice actually. I feel that's pretty really nice. I don't mm. know what you think. Mm. It's definitely got some merit. You get out, it's just what you get back into. Yeah, I mean, you and you know, so there's this, yeah. but I mean, I don't. There's nothing for me to finish. I'm not gonna finish a one hand guillotine from here. I'll yeah. finish a one hand guillotine from here. Mm -hmm. But as long as my knees are on the same side, yeah. you have to release this. And now we're fighting from dog fight, but you've got like, two, I guess you've got an advantage here because you've got both hands behind. Yeah. Okay. All right. I wanted to talk also about the the knee coming across, which is how you do your guillotine. So initially, yeah, I used to do this a lot. So here, from here, right? Yeah. Right, this is like that. And then of course, if you slide further up the head, even more effective, right? So if here feels like good, but hips up and further up the head, like almost you're, like you're about to slide out. And then you can do it with a chin strap as well. Can do it deep. Mm -hmm. Can probably do it here as well. All right, so all the all the three variations are good for me. Let's do that slowly. Let's see if we can find that gap. So I'm gonna ask you to slow down at one point. So go on. So I'm just so if I roll here, and my hands on this side. on top of you. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the point is to like dive in the gap and roll and then flip the person on you because their leg is here, right? right. And the only way they have an anchor is with the other leg, the, the other leg behind your back. But when my back is to the mat, you don't have a leg behind my back. The difference between, so put me in, put me in with a leg on my back. Like here, I can't create separation. Yeah. But imagine that this is, yeah, yeah a separation, right? Right. So yeah. So as I, as I go with it. Where's this leg going? Come, 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 come. Yeah, so. Yeah, so normally if you hold this, then I can roll you over. If you're still holding onto the gear team. So just snatch the gear team and don't let go again. Okay. You'll see how it makes sense. So here. What do you think? Yeah. Let's try to do five of those. It's not too bad. The whole direction is going there. So try it. Do you understand the mechanics of it? Yeah. The mechanics is dive into the hole, mm -hmm. and as the person chases you for mounted guillotine, mm -hmm. you just push them off so that, because they're here. Yeah. So roll me on the same shoulder that I have the guillotine. Okay. So you're rolling me right. here. Yeah. That's what you're gonna do. Think, okay, where's his guillotine? That's why I'm pushing him. So, boom. So where's your shoulder? Come, 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 come. come. So your knee is across, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this shoulder, right? Yeah, just clear so easily. I don't know, how does it feel to you? There's not a lot I can do if I'm sold on that gear. Yeah, team, but if you let it ride. go, yeah. but that's because we're studying the movement. Now you know that if I do that, you should release it exactly. and go to a hand post. Try to take them out. Yeah. yeah. So, let's see if this is still recording because there's a lot of good material here. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess we're still, we're live. Hey, right. Who's watching? Anyone? JB Best. Okay. Hey, Jorge. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Guillotine 101. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, man. I've got to get back into it. <laughs> okay, I'll do it to you then. I'll do one more. Okay. So, this is for Jorge. Here. The best. The best for George Best. I'm still waiting for my frozen fruits, dude. <laughs> he sells me frozen fruits. Donde esta mi frutas frozinas? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Yes. Oh, you speak Spanish? I used to. I used to. Okay, so here. So here. So you roll with it. Yeah. As I roll here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay, it's a little bit, so I'm just gonna try and be a neck chaser, like I'm gonna chase your neck, okay? And normally if I chase your neck, it'll work. Go. It opens up the space. Yeah, so shrug it down. Very nice. So it's like you're going with it kind of thing. It's almost like the first one where you lay down in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Rolls for Jorge. Okay. <laughs> do you have any music on your phone we can put on? Because yeah, I'm recording, and then do a time check as well. Jorge, do some work, man. Que haces? 
<laughs> okay, 15 minutes. Let's just do a 15 minute roll. What kind of music do you want? Whatever you want. We'd probably get Warner Brothers infringement, <laughs> bullshit, whatever. That was quick. Are you gonna let him let you know? No, I like Latino music. Well, I mean, I just, I just, I just like Latino music when we do jiu-jitsu. Yeah, sorry, not understanding what's going on. Sorry, please don't let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Reverse triangle. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Do you know what's coming? No, of course. <laughs> 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 Tough position because I'm laying on your other leg.
Dave's favorite. Would you chop noise? What's that called? <laughs> I don't know, I could call it the Lara Croft. <laughs> 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 it's really, it's really bad. Bad. <laughs> Yeah. 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 That works too! Yeah, that's what it does. Peak out. That was nice. <coughs> Two nice techniques that I did. Here you lose it. Here you lose it because you can say it. Yeah, there you go, one leg trap on the wrong side. And then you have real quick grip on it, so it's too late to move here. <laughs> Activate all the ideas. And we haven't covered it from close guard either, or from close half. I still shrug in the hip, because I need to elevate my hips. That's still a plus. With my hands on my body. The few positions when that grip happens, it's not great. <laughs>
Okay, Nice because you recognize the positions I can see. But, uh, I mean, it's a question of having a reaction to it and learning, right? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, awesome. That's, I don't know what do. So. Favorite. Uh, every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> and straight leg. Still let me straighten your leg. How are we doing? 48. Okay, okay. that's a good one to end now. Yeah. Thank you, very Thank much. you so much. Oh, good draw. Oh, always a good lesson. Oh, okay. Always good drills. Oh, the full package. Nice training. Yeah, I love training with you. Because you got hot, you know. There's nothing like someone who doesn't want to try, doesn't want to roll, and then you get excuses. I got five injuries. <laughs> they all got injuries. They all got something. 
Yeah, well, that's also part of the journey when we say what are the values. Right. Overcoming, resilience, courage, all that. Radika's whole shtick. Radika did really well. Yeah. She came back. Exactly. She's showing up again and she's not 100%. She's but showing I guess up. showing hard. Everybody's on their own journey. She's showing hard. Okay. Thank you. Oops, camera. If you want to rewatch, there's some really nice.